Initially developed by Tesla for commercial electric vehicles like the Model Y, the 4680 battery cell boasts a potential energy capacity five times that of other electric vehicle batteries at 26,000 milliampere hours. With the 4680 battery cells utilizing fewer raw materials in production, the Texas factory has achieved a significant milestone by making 886,000 cells in just a week, enough for 1,000 Model Y vehicles, each equipped with a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. Approximately six months later, Tesla surpassed 10 million 4680 cells produced and has now hit the milestone of 50 million. What strategic objectives does Tesla aim to achieve by ramping up production of the 4680 battery cells on such a monumental level? How is Tesla advancing the efficiency of their 4680 battery cell production? Tesla now says it hopes 4680 battery cells will be cheaper than those from suppliers by the end of the year. The 4680 is a new cell format supported by new technologies, such as the tabless design developed by Tesla. This is a significant gamble for Tesla, a company that has never produced batteries before. The automaker is competing against giants like LG, Panasonic, and Cattle, who are also Tesla's current suppliers. 4680 productions have increased by about 18 to 20 percent compared to fourth quarter, reaching levels necessary for the Cybertruck, approximately 7 gigawatt hours a year. Expectations are to lead in the Cybertruck development phase with battery production through second quarter by expanding the third and fourth lines in phase one while maintaining several weeks worth of cell inventory to ensure we are ahead of the ramp. As we accelerate, the cost of goods sold continues to drop rapidly week by week due to productivity improvements across the line and increased production volume. This is what Tesla CEO Lars Moravi said. However, he added an interesting remark about Tesla's belief that their batteries will outperform nickel-based batteries from suppliers in terms of cost by the end of the year, as highlighted in the first quarter earnings call. Um, our goal, and we expect to do this, is to beat supplier cost of nickel-based cells by the end of the year. Tesla is currently running one production line and one battery assembly line very efficiently. According to Sawyer Merritt, Tesla will add four more lines by third quarter of this year. Tesla also intends to increase its orders for 4680 cells from its suppliers. However, the automaker is known for keeping secrets, as it has not provided specific numbers. Many projects are being developed and promoted to encourage the transition to cleaner transportation, such as the first quarter mile road in Indiana that can charge electric vehicles and heavy duty trucks. For Tesla, the company has launched products that make it easier for consumers to afford living costs, such as the Powerwall 3 home energy storage system. The company is currently using 4680 batteries in its Cybertrucks. Tesla states that they have completed 4680 cells in inventory for several weeks, as mentioned in a call following the annual report release. To date, 4680 production is ahead of the ramp with weeks of finished cells and inventory, and the goal is to keep it that way, ex-Twitter user Sawyer Merritt quoted from the call. Tesla astonishes us with a production of 50 million 4680 battery cells in Giga Texas in Austin. It is known that Tesla's 4680 production has increased significantly as the company is manufacturing batteries for electric vehicles produced at Giga Texas along with other factories. In one year, Tesla has produced 40 million batteries, just under 1 million batteries per week over the past year. Tesla's battery production is set to develop further through the production of vehicles equipped with the next-generation platform, starting with the RoboTaxi. CEO Elon Musk announced that the vehicle will be launched on August 8th. Remarkably, Musk has achieved an impressive figure, taking less than 8 months to make 30 million batteries. The last time Tesla announced a significant milestone in 4680 battery production at Giga Texas was a year ago in June of last year, when the company reported producing 10 million batteries. Looking at the start of the battery production journey at Giga Texas with a production of 4680 cells for the Model Y. As predicted, the acceleration process gradually took place, but by the end of 2022, the factory had reached a significant milestone by producing 886,000 cells in a single week enough for 1,000 Model Y vehicles, each equipped with a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. 
By June 2023, about six months later, Tesla had surpassed 10,046,80 cells produced, indicating that the company was producing around 351,000 battery cells every week. Over time, Tesla's battery team at Giga Texas shifted their focus to the Cybertruck, introducing a completely new 4680 cell version with higher energy density for the electric pickup truck. Despite this shift, Tesla was still able to continue enhancing 4680 production at a steady pace, reaching 20 million cells produced. The latest update was provided in March when Tesla revealed they had produced 1.4 million cells in seven days. Now, the company has announced another significant milestone. Based on the timing of the announcement of the production of the 20 millionth and 50 millionth cells, this indicates that Giga Texas is producing an average of about 126,000 cells per day, equivalent to roughly 3,780,000 cells a month. Since Tesla currently only uses the 4680 cells in the Cybertruck, which requires 1,360 cells for the 123 kilowatt hour battery pack, this means the company is producing enough cells to manufacture nearly 2,800 Cybertrucks per month, more than the number the factory is currently producing. This production rate supports the company's claims in the first quarter 2024 earnings report that 4680 cell production is not a bottleneck for the Cybertruck and means that Tesla is gradually building up a reserve that can be used not only for the Cybertruck, but also for other vehicles and programs that will utilize the 4680 cells. From now till October, Tesla may have produced 4680 cells for over 22,000 Cybertrucks. The company previously stated that supplying the 4680 cells would not be a hindrance to acceleration. We do not know the official production rate of the Tesla Cybertruck. However, according to analyst Troy Teslike, who focuses on the Tesla, the production rate remained steady during the period from March to June. Exact numbers based on available VIN registrations are behind a paywall. Reports indicate that Tesla is still only producing Tesla Cybertruck skateboard batches, indicating the steady production rate is roughly unrelated to demand. Not only in Texas, but the expansion in Nevada has also begun bustling. Tesla also confirmed that the expansion of the Nevada plant has commenced. As reported, two new production facilities will be built as part of the expansion. A 4680 format battery production facility with a capacity of 100 gigawatt hours per year and another facility for mass production of Tesla semi-electric trucks. The semi also uses the cylindrical 4680 cells. Initially, Tesla only produced this type of cell on a pilot line in Fremont before starting the second generation 4680 production in Texas, helping to significantly increase capacity. The long lead time for 4680 cells has been one of the reasons for the delay of the semi. According to Tesla, if there were enough cells in stock now, it could be good news for the electric trucks. What makes the 4680 battery the ideal choice for affordable Tesla cars? Let's start with the fact that while the 4680 cells produced by Texas have an energy density of 244 watt hours a kilogram, Note that it's not even the target energy density of greater than 300 watt hours a kilogram compared to the BYD Blade battery priced at 61 US dollars per kilowatt hour, achieving only 168 watt hours a kg. Although cost is certainly a factor to consider, energy density is also a key factor and with other factors that we'll discuss below. The 4680 is evaluated to be superior rather than inferior. Secondly, the 4680 can be used as part of the structural pack, further reducing overall weight, whereas the BYD blade battery cannot. Thirdly, Tesla is moving towards a 100% dry electrode process. Currently, they have the positive electrode operating with a dry process, but the negative electrode is still a wet process. By bringing that negative electrode into the dry process, they will significantly reduce energy consumption and have a much lower cost cell but more importantly, not rely on third parties for production. And even if it only costs the same to manufacture under the BYD name, do you think BYD will sell their cells to others without marking up the price? Additionally, many people wonder why Tesla is producing the new 4680 cells instead of larger ones. Is there something optimal about that size and does it give an advantage to their vehicles? The choice of the smaller size 4680 cells is not certain, but it may be related to heat dissipation capability. Correspondingly, there's less weight and less space occupied by the outer casing of a large pack, meaning you can pack slightly more energy. 
And when you use larger cells, the surface area to volume ratio decreases, which is great if you want to retain heat inside. However, this is only useful in cold outdoor temperatures when not driving or charging. But if you are trying to keep something cool when it's actually needed, both while driving and during fast charging, then that's a disadvantage. Tesla uses a glycol liquid mixture circulated around the cells to keep them cool when you're charging or using a lot of energy. So, using larger cells would provide more energy but poses challenges for individual cooling. However, in large quantities, the cost to energy ratio may be cheaper by a bit. On the other hand, the secondary benefit of smaller cells is that you need more of them than larger cells, and manufacturing them in larger quantities than larger cells would help reduce cost per cell. Another related cost is that improper heat management and charging habits can affect the lifespan of the battery, at least for commonly used lithium-ion types. Proper management can extend the lifespan to 300,000, even 500,000 miles or more. But improper management, and you might need to replace them at around 30,000 miles, $4,000 to $7,000. So, the current 4680 cells strike a technical balance between keeping the battery cool during usage and the cost of the battery. There are also other criteria such as weight, battery capacity, battery life, how to repair damaged cells within the battery pack, etc. These additional criteria may relate to keeping the battery cool and cost, but perhaps less importantly. The key point is that any technical solution, such as the size of the cells as initially required, is a compromise of multiple criteria, and it aims at minimizing costs to bring affordable vehicles to the market that Elon is targeting. Furthermore, the purpose of the 4680 cell becoming the ideal choice for affordable Tesla vehicles is straightforward due to its larger size compared to previous cell types and its efficient energy integration. The 4680 cell is larger than previous cell types, especially the 2170 and 18650 cells. This larger size allows it to store more energy while maintaining high power and efficiency. The integrated design helps reduce energy loss during energy conversion and transmission, thereby increasing the overall efficiency of the cell. Reducing manufacturing costs is also a priority. The 4680 cell requires fewer components and connections compared to previous cell types such as the 2170. This reduces manufacturing costs by optimizing the assembly process and material usage. Using fewer cells to achieve the same driving range and performance also helps reduce the overall cost of electric vehicles. In terms of fast charging efficiency, the cell is capable of faster charging due to its improved electrical and chemical design. This reduces charging time, improving convenience and user experience. Faster charging times also benefit customers and enhance Tesla's competitiveness out there in the market. Lastly, the ability to supply affordable vehicle models is facilitated by the reduced manufacturing costs and enhanced performance of the 4680 cell. With reduced production costs and improved performance, the 4680 cells make it more feasible for Tesla to integrate them into its affordable vehicle lineup. This helps Tesla expand its market and compete with other low-cost electric vehicles, which also helps them achieve mass production goals and up their sales. The 4680 cell not only improves the performance and features of Tesla vehicles, but they also help reduce manufacturing costs and charging time, making the production of affordable electric vehicle models more feasible and ultimately more appealing to consumers. What types of batteries can be used in the Tesla Model 2? The new Model 2 Redwood 2025 battery has some unique features that are attracting attention. Previously, the most common type of EV battery was lithium-ion. However, a significant challenge with this type of battery is the scarcity of lithium supply chains. Chile, holding the world's largest lithium reserves, estimated at about 9.3 million tons in 2023, and while the United States only owns about 1.1 million tons. China leads with 3 million tons, accounting for 62.9% of the global lithium production, far surpassing the United States. This poses headaches for electric vehicle manufacturers as they face lithium scarcity in the market. The current market explains why many car manufacturers have to import batteries, especially from China, because the Chinese government announced in December last year that they would revoke tax credits for models containing Chinese battery components starting in 2024. So, how can Tesla's new battery be developed with cattle and still qualify for tax credits? According to the South China Morning Post, Tesla plans to expand battery production in Nevada by opening a small facility using unused equipment from cattle. 
This facility will be fully controlled by Tesla with a company covering 100% of the costs, and cattle personnel will not be involved unless they help install this equipment. This arrangement ensures that Model 2 still qualifies for tax credits because the battery will still be considered. Tesla's domestic competitors, such as Ford, are also taking similar action, with Ford CEO Jim Farley announcing at a press conference that Ford Motor Company will be collaborating with cattle and invest $3.5 billion to produce electric vehicles. The battery plant in Marshall, Michigan is the epicenter of Tesla's battery development conducted by cattle. The overarching initial plan of Tesla Part 3 indicates that Model 2 will use LFP, that's lithium iron phosphate cells, along with a 53 kilowatt hour capacity battery. The advantages of LFP cells in the chemical field include significantly lower costs for the battery pack, combined with enhanced safety. Additionally, LFP cells provide high working voltage, extended design life, and make charging and discharging the battery compact and fast. However, LFP cells also face challenges regarding low energy density. To address this issue, Cattle's introduced an advanced solution with the M3P battery, which is expected to be integrated into Tesla's products in the future. Tesla's models from China using the M3P battery are attracting attention with an impressive energy density of 210 watt-hours a kilogram, representing a 15% growth compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. This cattle product has been intriguing due to the incorporation of new LFP cells designed for fast charging and superior performance in cold weather. This advanced battery technology, called pin shaking, is generating significant interest with its remarkable fast charging capability. Reports indicate that pin shaking can extend the range by up to 400 kilometers in just 10 minutes of charging, even in very cold weather conditions. Furthermore, at temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius, this battery can achieve a charge level from 0 to 80% in only 30 minutes, matching the charging speed of electric vehicles in normal temperatures. The impressive debut of pin shaking foreshadows that Tesla's Model 2 could inherit similar or even surpassing advancements in the future. How fast can Model 2 charge? What might charging a Model 2 look like? Motor Trend tested the Tesla Model S and found that it took 51 minutes to charge from 5% to 95% using the V3 supercharger and Tesla's latest LFP battery. Previously, charging a Tesla took about an hour, but now it's becoming a thing of the past with advancements in battery chemistry. In Model 2, Cattle's batteries are capable of fast charging even at low temperatures. For example, the XED vehicle equipped with the new Xantic battery can charge to 80% in 24 minutes under cold conditions at minus 20 degrees Celsius, and it can add an additional 400 kilometers of range in just 10 minutes. If Cattle uses this battery technology in Tesla's Model 2, then full charging might only take 13 minutes, providing a range of 350 kilometers. This charging time sets a new standard that few competitors can match, as most cars today require at least 40 minutes or more to charge. For example, the second generation of Hyundai's Kona can charge to 80% capacity in 47 minutes via DC charging. This also surpasses Chinese competitors like the BYD Dolphin, priced under $14,000 and taking about 41 minutes to achieve similar results. Considering that Model 2 is expected to debut no later than sometime in the middle of next year, Cattle and Tesla still have plenty of time to introduce even higher quality batteries for Model 2, enhancing its charging capabilities and overall performance. Well, that'll do it for today's video. We hope you experienced the utmost relaxation after watching our product. If you did, we humbly ask that you please press the like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Just hit that notification bell icon and you can stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Also, your feedback and time are very much appreciated. And with that, we thank you so much for watching and hope to see you back here soon. Until then, stay safe, take care, and God bless. Bye.